As a large, angry crowd criticized the hiring of Congressman Bill Johnson and the process behind doing so, the chair of YSU's Board of Trustees explained for the first time what he and his colleagues were looking for in a new president. Bring some some knowledge on how to deal with you know organizations and and gov you know government relations and all those things that is going to need to be dealt with. More specifically, Peterson tells me Johnson's ties to leaders in both Columbus and Washington were a huge advantage. Having those connections, knowing where to go, how to navigate through all that is extremely important. And that is one of those things that he brings to the table that we haven't had before. What about the LGBT students on this campus, Mike? And while some in the crowd complained about the congressman's political leanings, Peterson argues he's not concerned about that. Bill Johnson won't be fracking at Youngstown State. He won't be denying marriages at Youngstown State. He will be leading, leading the charge. Peterson also defended the confidentiality of the search process, saying every consulting firm that was interviewed, as well as the one that was eventually hired to find candidates, urged the board to avoid making names public, explaining practices used in the past no longer work today. In the end, Peterson tells us he's excited about the future. We're hiring a leader to lead Youngstown State to that next level and actually to get us out ahead of everyone else. But at this point, there is still no certain date when Johnson will start. At Youngstown State, Jerry Ricciuti, WKVN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKVN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKVN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.